Let's get the muffler on our E91 M3. But before actually getting the muffler on the car, um, I needed to make sure that the brackets are actually sitting on there and the bumper were able to test fit it once it actually reaches the muffler shop because without actually test fitting the bumper, we won't actually know exactly where to line up the muffler. And uh, if we weld that up improperly, it's just gonna be a mess because we're gonna have to go back and get that re-welded. So that's what I'm doing right now, is just putting on those bumper brackets. And now I'm actually installing the hangers onto the muffler uh, because I actually bought the muffler secondhand. So we didn't actually have any of the hangers on there so I actually had to order these hangers separately so I got to make sure I have all the hangers on the muffler otherwise the, the exhaust shop is not even going to touch the muffler they need the hangers um, to be able to at least line up where everything's going to go and they can actually have proper mounting points to where they can just screw it into the car instead of actually welding the muffler directly into the car making it super hard um, to undo the process if we want to upgrade the exhaust later but now that the muffler is pretty much ready to go we're going to go ahead and load up the E91 M3 onto the trailer And yes, that is a 335 I ended up picking up for a crazy good deal. More info on this car to come. Once I arrived at the exhaust shop, they got the M3 in the air and mocked up the muffler with the bumper before welding in the pipes. This is exactly what they need to do to make sure everything lines up properly. And you guys can see right now that it's looking so, so, so good. Everything's welded up properly. We use all the factory OEM hangers, which is very important. And this M3 is officially one step closer to being complete. All right, guys, this is the next morning. and We finally got the muffler mounted on the E91 M3. Check this out. <laughs> yes, guys, we are officially 100% state legal with this E91 M3. I just now need to schedule my state uh, referee stuff, but basically we got all the mounts mounted where they're supposed to go. You guys can see it on this side and it's also on this side. I make sure these all the original mounts because I want this as OEM as possible. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't a pretty penny, but at the same time, you do what you gotta do for a build like this. Honestly guys, this needs to go ASAP. <laughs> this, is, this is making this thing a sleeper. At this point, I'm having one little issue with this car and it's in terms of the power. It cuts out and it cuts in. I didn't know what it was until I found out that the wagon this connection right over here is broken so you guys can see where that screw pretty much screws into this piece um, basically it's stripped and it's not having a connection I had to press down on the distribution box on this positive cable for the car to power on uh, so long story short ended up getting these new cables new power distributor let's just go ahead and slap this in the E91 so we don't have any more power issues and this is actually my fault this could have all been avoided if I used hand tools you're not supposed to tighten anything in the battery compartment with the power tool um, I was just rushing things and by rushing it I I just added more work to myself so uh key to myself always use hand tools when working with the battery and just like that guys now we have power and it's consistent power when i touch this now nothing actually cuts out which is so 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 good i'm super happy about that because that power cutting out required me to jump in the driver's seat come all the way here to the back pull the manual release just so i can get to the trunk and mess with the battery again so uh yeah i think that officially just fixed one of our major issues and now that all of our issues with the e91 m3 is finally sorted guys it's finally time to take the e91 m3 to the body shop to get both quarter panels converted to the M3 quarter panels, the rear bumper conversion, the rear bracket conversion, and finally repairing any dents or anything like that on the car uh, completely so we're pretty much ready for paint. After taking it to the body shop and talking to my boys, I'm super happy to say that the car is in good hands. We're gonna go ahead and drop it off and we'll come back to it with some updates, um, you know, hopefully in the near future. In the meantime, I decided to go ahead and start working on some things at the house to pretty much clear some space. Uh, the first being is the E90 M3 donor shell, taking up a lot of space in the backyard and by removing this shell, we're finally gonna be able to use all of my side yard, which is very, very, very important. So uh, yeah, shout out to my guy right here for getting this car out of here. That thing was just taking up too much space. And I figured while cleaning out the side yard, I might as well um, actually clean it.
as you guys can see, our side yard is finally looking so, so, so much better. We can finally do some more projects on our side yard. But in the meantime, uh, I do have another thing we got to knock out. And that, as you guys can see, is my BMW i3 8. Crazy story. In the middle of the night, guys, the i3 was pretty much going off. It was going ballistic. And uh, things for you guys to know, if, if you guys are an i3 owner or soon to be an i3 owner, if your 12-volt battery is almost out of juice, um, pretty much your car, you're going to be locked out. The i3 becomes a complete brick, and you can't do anything to disable the alarm. You're literally just going to have to sit there and wait for you know the, the alarm to just do its thing, which honestly took about 30 minutes. My neighbors showed up. It was a complete disaster. Disaster. I ended up going on to BMW, got myself a new battery, swapped it out the next morning, uh, but it was no joke, guys. I mean, just if you get warnings like I did, I didn't know it was for the, the small battery. I thought when it said battery discharge, it was like the major battery or something, and I figured that's maybe some kind of mistake, but no, when it says battery discharge, it means the little 12-volt battery needs to be replaced. So yeah, I finally got that stuff sorted as well. While we wait for the E91 M3 to get the love it deserves, and we're definitely going to be going down there to film, you know, the portions that they're getting done at the moments they're getting it done, um, I'm going to try to swing by there every three to four days but in the meantime guys while we wait uh, we do have other bills that you guys know of and that you don't know about that i'm gonna be working in the meantime so stay tuned for that <laughs> 